Hi, and welcome to PR in 5, a new webinar series designed to help exhibitors incorporate public relations tips and tactics into their overall show marketing strategy. Each webinar will cover a different aspect of public relations in under five minutes. Today's webinar will focus on tips to get the media to cover your brand at the show. I'm your host, Sandra Mason, Director of Public Relations for the Association of Equipment Manufacturers. I oversee the PR for the show you will be attending. I've included my email address above, so please feel free to send me any questions, comments, or future webinar topic ideas. Remember, this is just a high-level overview in less than five minutes. So take advantage of my offer to answer your questions. Now, let's get started. Investing in a media relations effort is hard work, but worth it. Building and leveraging good relationships with the media, particularly the trade and business media, can be extremely helpful in boosting awareness of your company, as well as getting media coverage leading up to and at the show. So how do you develop these relationships? Simple. A few weeks or a few months before the show, reach out to targeted trade media near you and ask to drop off coffee and donuts for the staff and ask for 10 minutes of their time. During that 10 minutes, you will ask them what their needs are. Are they looking for new products, new ways of providing solutions, perspectives, and what are they looking for when it comes to visuals? The same can be done for business media in your area. You can leave behind business cards and company fact sheets or bios of your key executives or thought leaders in your company. If the trade media are not located near you, call them up, acknowledge that they are on tight timelines, and ask them if now is a good time to talk. Tell them you are establishing a PR program for your company, and then ask them what their needs are. Remember, whatever they tell you, take it to heart and follow through. One other tip to remember, the advertising dollars you spend on the publication should not be brought up in this conversation. This is the content side of the business. Good content sells publications, which in turn helps to sell ads due to circulation numbers. Okay, so now what? It's time to go back to the office and get them what they need, usually an advanced media kit or an advanced news release on what you will be unveiling at the show. Connect with the reporter before you provide it and ask if they will honor an embargo until a certain date and time. The advanced news release and interviews with your CEO, a customer, and perhaps an engineer will be kept under wraps until the embargo is lifted. This information just provides the reporter with an opportunity to write a more robust story featuring your company. Also, if you are unveiling the product at the show, be sure to email me at smason at aem.org. So let me know the date and time you will be doing that in your booth as we provide that information to the media. If you aren't unveiling anything at the show, you still have a story to tell, and you can do that through your media kit. So what do you include in your kit? There is no set formula. A media kit can promote whatever areas you feel are most important. Media kits can be printed documents or built into their own subdomain on your website. Most kits include your story. This is your why. Share your story, how your business came to be. Company facts. How many customers have you served? How long have you been in business? How many units have you sold? Where is your business located? Where is your product manufactured? Also, large, high-resolution images of your logo, branding, and products. People on your team include executive bios here and news releases. These could be new product announcements, updates about the company, partnerships, and collaborations. After putting together your media kit, you might be thinking, hey, we have this great story about how this product helped that customer. Contact the customer. Ask them if they would be willing to be interviewed or provide a testimonial and some photos of the project. It's okay to share your media kit with your new media contacts prior to the show as well as any story ideas you might come up with. Then, follow up with them. How? A simple phone call that goes something like this. Hi, this is Sandra with Acme Corporation. I wanted to follow up with you about the email I sent you on Tuesday about XYZ product and how it helped ABC customer. Is now a good time? Great. 
As I outlined in the email, this product was the only one this community found to help them to do DEF and save them X amount of dollars and X amount of time. The customer is willing to speak with you about their experience, and I have the engineer who would love to share his insight. We also have photos and videos of the machine at work. Are you interested? It really isn't hard once you have established that relationship. One last tip, do not make these calls a few days prior to the show. The media will be gearing up for traveling and trying to put any last minute stories to bed. Looks like we are out of time, so I'm going to end here. Don't be afraid to reach out to the media about your company and your products, because they need you as much as we need them. And as a reminder, if you have any questions or ideas for future webcasts, feel free to email me at smason at aem.org. Thanks for tuning in.